Welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. So today, I am gonna do five gifts under $5 for busy mamas. So they're just fun ideas, and you can take them and think, oh, this is great inspiration, and buy the version that is available in stores near you, or buy it online, whatever makes it convenient, because that's kind of the idea of this video, is what is gonna make your Christmas that much easier. Alrighty, number one, and this is the cheapest on the list, so this is great for little kids that want to get their mama something, right? And I always think that's really dear when they all oh, remember saving it for my parents. I remember once buying them something for their anniversary and I saved up all my little dollars. And I went to Pier 1 and I bought them some little decorative parrots. And I was so excited. I have no idea where those tiny little decorative parrots went. As a little kid, I was really excited. So these are fun little... Ooh, hello. Hello, am I... Am I a reindeer? Have I become a reindeer? You think, Rose, whoa, you're taking this holiday thing way too seriously. You don't need to actually be a reindeer. It's okay. Take a breath, girl. I get it. I know. These are so much fun. I've been wearing them all over because <laughs> I can't resist. I cannot resist a fabulous headband. These are a little under two pounds at um, Primark. So easy, easy to get. They're cute. They're actually really well made. I was impressed. Um, because sometimes the things you find in Primark are like, mm, I don't know about that. But these are, are pretty well made. They're felted and glued on. So the antlers aren't just glued right on to fall off. So they're more likely to stay on. The ears are actually soft. It's got a little bit of cute holly with some glitter. And it's just, it's not too crazy. So mom, you might actually get your mom into it. Especially if you're a teenager and you're trying to like get your mom to be a little more goofy. Because after years of parenting, she's become serious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number two, ooh, ooh. oh yeah, now this is a personal, um, personal favorite of mine, socks, oh my goodness, oh hello socks, are those, um, are those fluffy llamas, okay, they could be alpacas, I don't know, I'm gonna say they're llamas, <laughs> look at that, oh, I'm a little llama and I say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, ooh. Was that creepy or festive? I don't know. Like if a face popped out from behind socks, you'd be like, I don't know what that's for. Just like that. <laughs> so these came as a three pack. Let me show them to you. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know if that's my thing. And then the pair I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I like to wear my presents as I give myself. <laughs> so these are um, a little under two bucks each. So it's right over the $5 mark. But hey, hey. You know, I wanted a good good title, so it's, it's right around the $5 mark, and I think that's a good price. Um, I got these at um, Homewares, uh, TJ Maxx, yes, I, th I think that's what it is, yes, TJ Maxx, <laughs> TK Maxx, TJ Maxx, I think it's TJ Maxx. <laughs> so I got these at Homewares, boom, 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 boom. And they are just adorable. I think they're a great price. And they're actually really cozy, like really soft inside without being super too warm to where you're like, oh, I I can't wear this inside when I have the heat on. They, they're just fun. They're just playful. And I think any mama loves warm socks. Um, if you're that mama sticking for another, you can buy her socks, but make sure you buy her something that is not useful. Pro tip, this has nothing to do with this video, just pro tip, don't just buy your wife, girlfriend, or significant other, just socks. It won't go down well, not in the long run. Remember, you're investing in your future of maybe a 50 year relationship marriage. Buy more than socks. <laughs> number, number three. Oh, should I say this is my personal favorite? Let's be told the list it is now. Perhaps a toddler sat on this box, so please excuse it's beaten up. It looks really nice if your toddler doesn't sit on this box. <laughs> So from M&S, Marks & Spencer, you can get a great little chocolate box for five pounds. It has a box, a box ton. Aha, uh -huh, see what I did there instead of bucket ton? It has a whole lot of chocolates inside that are all different tasty flavors. And the nice thing about that is you can go to almost any store this time of year and find a nice chocolate box. And that is something that pretty much every mama is gonna love. You know, I mean, if she likes milk chocolate, make sure you're getting the milk chocolate one. 
dark chocolate, get that one if she really loves nuts and caramels, you know. But a chocolate box is something that is so tasty. And you can go super high end, you know, you can spend $100 on a chocolate box. Or you can go to a grocery store or a food store, an import store that you trust, that you think makes good quality uh, purchasing decisions. And then you just buy something for that $5 mark that's really tasty, you know. Put a little bow on it and the mamas will appreciate it. Now, number four, I went, my number four, is not in the wearing or edible aisle, but I know that us crazy vlogger, blogger mamas, we kind of like something that is pretty and shiny and decorative. Not jewelry, something useful, right? Especially if you're trying to keep under the $5 mark. And from one of my go-to stores, Homewares, oh yeah, Land of, Land of the Socks, um, I got this little... I think it's copper, but it definitely has like a rosy hue to it. It's a very bright copper, which is great because that's kind of the theme of my kitchen as I slowly, slowly piecemeal it, remodel it. Um, but this is kind of the color of the handles, um, the pull bars in my cabinetry. And so I thought, oh, that goes so well. And mamas love rose gold. They love coppers. They love nice marble things. This is just like the, the mommy style of the mama, right? And it happens it happens to coincide with my taste, so it's really handy. But, you know, make sure you know the taste of this mama, whether they be your mama or if you're a significant other or your friends. And you're just trying to shop for moms thinking, boy, what are fun presents that you don't have to go totally broke on? Because $5 might seem cheap for a present, but if you're buying for 5 10 people, that can take a big chunk of your budget out, right, for the month. Um, especially for everyone that is working hourly or that just, you know, there's a lot of jobs all over. They don't pay that much. And I think that at Christmas time, people forget that and say, oh, $50 is such a steal. And sometimes $50 is your whole budget for treats and presents and everything, right? So I think a $5 mark is really quite reasonable when you're buying for a lot of people. It depends who you're buying for and it depends what your budget is. Uh, but I thought this was really cute and you can keep fruit in it. I got it as a little bread basket because I frequently make homemade dinner rolls and I'm having everybody over um, for oh, different holiday dinners because we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. So when I say holidays, I mean actually holidays. There are multiple holidays. Um, and then my brother likes to celebrate solstice um, and have all of those fun things to do. So I thought this would be great for fun little bread. I'll put a little um, cloth towel in there and everything, but it's still all bright and colorful. And I love it. And then the rest of the time I can use it to, to hold stuff. Because clearly if I have a container, I'm like, I should fill it up with more garbage. Gosh, ooh, 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 what do I have on my counter? <laughs> Only something. My counter is always so cluttered. This is really cute. So you can go to, um, you can shop online, you can go to a local store. And if you shop really locally with small businesses, there's a lot of craftspeople, you know, they sell online from small shops or they sell at your local craft fair, your farmer's market. And you'll see a lot of lovely baskets and bowls and things that I hope this inspires you to buy from. So you can, I got it at Homeware, um, but you don't have to buy it at a big, big box store. You can buy it at uh, a smaller independent seller, somebody that makes it by hand or somebody that imports it by themselves um, and this is really just like an inspiration gift guide you can go and you can find these things in the store right now or you can get inspired and think how can I shop more locally how can I shop more smallly you know the economy of scale right it's gonna cost more if you buy it from a local artist but you're supporting somebody locally and small that then is going out in the community and doing the same so you know it's totally up to you I don't think that there's a bad answer to that I am not super against big stores and I'm not super against the price of small sellers. I think that you got to have a happy balance, right? Especially at the holidays for what we do. Um, and that's that's what keeps the economy ticking. But I really like this one. I just think that's funny. Ooh, art photo. Oh, that's going to go on Instagram, isn't it? Insta. Hashtag. Cards. Mm. Okay, that's, that's a good Speaking of cards. Number five. <laughs> Now, number five is a, um, a two-piecer, but I'm going to count it as one because it goes as a pair. So in the $5 theme, these are two bucks at um, Homeware. You can also go to a thrift store and find a fun glass. 
for a couple bucks. Um, you can go to all sorts of stores and just find mismatched glasses and just find one, right? One pretty glass, something for mama to just have, to drink out of, to enjoy, to have as their glass that little kids aren't touching and they aren't spitting back in. It's just their little holiday relaxation glass. And to go with it, you can get a nice bottle of wine. Now, I'm not endorsing any particular brand of wine or anything. Um, generally, if you're going to go to the supermarket, you know, look up in the lower shelves, right, where the cheaper wine's going to be. This wine was a little three bucks about, so two bucks, three bucks, boom, five bucks for this. And that's a pretty nice gift right there. That's something fun. Um, different people are going to have different tastes in wine. And, you know, maybe they're not even a wine drinker, but for wine drinkers, um, a Pinot Noir is a really nice, generally pretty easy to drink red wine if you're going to go there. Um, I would stick away from really earthy heavy Merlots or really spicy Syrahs and I would do maybe a Pinot or a, um, a Rosé and that can be a Rosé as just a type of wine so that can be different types of grapes that are going in there. Um, something, unless you really know mama's taste, <clears throat> then you can just go with something easy, something simple, um, that you think might be, you know, a little fruit forward, but dry, tends to be something that everybody likes. So you can look for those kind of keywords, right? Um, that tends to be something that everyone's palate enjoys for a while. And it's just, it's just a nice, you know, simple little gift that I think is, is really appreciated. By mamas because it lets them sit and relax and even if they are doing crafts with the kids you know maybe they just want a little sip of wine right and it's something that as you're if you're the mama's spouse if you're a husband if you're a wife that you know you and the mama can sit together and drink and talk about the holidays and maybe talk about things you appreciate or things you're dreaming of for the new year and that can be a really powerful bonding moment a moment to be calm to do a little self-care, not physically, but emotionally. And that can make a huge difference to making sure that everybody's enjoying the holiday this year. Uh, so often mamas are the last one to be thought of at the holidays. Are you enjoying it? Are you having a nice time? We are the ones that make all the food, we clean the house for whenever we have visitors, we take care of all the out of town guests, we plan everything, we wrap the presents, we shop for it, you know often we are left very depleted by the end of a holiday season. So I think it's really valuable to have, you know, something special for moms at the holidays. And it doesn't have to cost a ton of money. It doesn't have to take away from the rest of the Christmas budget or the holiday budget. It can just be something nice and enjoyable and simple like any of these presents. Just, you know, beautiful little reminders that you appreciate the mom or the mamas in your life. So hey, until I see you in the next video, because I have some really fun videos coming up, you can check out everything in that description box. Oh yeah, it links to all my romance novels. So hey, if you want a fabulous romance read, feel free to check out um, all my books on my Amazon page. I uh, sell books to Smashwords, on iBooks, and, uh, and on Barnes & Noble, Nook. So all sorts of ways to get my books, uh, depending on which book has available on different platforms um, but that's a great way to support this channel you know support a small indie author woohoo small artist <laughs> if you want to shop local i'm i'm local to your mind <laughs> you can follow along all of our christmas tree photos whoa, on my instagram page and until the next video hey happy holidays merry christmas happy hanukkah I hope that you are celebrating the people in your life, yourself included, for this beautiful, wonderful time of year that, you know, brings family together and we all sit inside and, you know, maybe we drink some cider and we laugh together and we get grumpy together and we tell stories together, but we are together and we're in that moment. And, you know, the short days and the long nights, I hope, bring us all together this time of year. Okay, thank you so much for subscribing to The Wholesome Feed, giving these videos a thumbs up, and being a part of our, our little parenting community on here. It, it really makes my, my heart happy. It makes my heart sing to, to see this wonderful community grow. Hey, until next time, I'm going to see you all over on the multitude of fabulous photos and videos I post all over YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> hey, love y'all biscuits. Bye-bye.